Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, if you're trying to wonder where I'm at right now, if you actually look, I am at Jackson Park in Jackson Township, uh, Ohio. So, decided to change up the scene a little bit. <clears throat> Want to get out of the office, actually enjoy some fresh air and stuff. Uh, you know, there's another video I posted you guys could see about Cuyahoga Falls. But today I'm going to talk about Jackson Township, what it's like to live here, what it's like to eat here, uh, places to go and have fun, uh, you know, what the people think about the schools, where you're going to live, for what costs, and things like that. So if you're interested in learning about Jackson Township, uh, stay tuned and we'll get started and show you all about it here shortly. What's up everybody? This is Justin Robleski with High Point Real Estate Group. If this is your first time to my channel, please take a quick moment to click on the subscribe button, click the little bell next to it so you can be alerted every time a new video comes out. And if you don't mind, give me a thumbs up, give me one of those likes for this video if you like it as well. Um, but anytime you need to reach me, I wanna be your go-to person for anything when it comes to your real estate stuff. Whether you wanna buy, sell, invest, even if you're looking for rentals, I'm willing to help you out any way I can. You can reach me by text, email, phone call, however you want to, Facebook Messenger, or even send a carrier pigeon if that's what works best for you. I'm accessible pretty much any time at all. You know, I get several phone calls throughout the week, text messages, phone calls, emails, uh, people I've actually met from YouTube that seem to love the videos and I'm taking on new clients constantly. Love helping new clients, love you know helping them sell their home, you know, move into their dream homes, make investments. I just love everything about what I do. <clears throat> Nowadays, you don't find many people that can say that, but I truly love everything I do within the real estate world. So again, if there's anything you need, reach out to me and I'll be happy to help you any way I can. Like I mentioned earlier, this video is gonna be all about Jackson Township. <clears throat> right now I'm gonna start, I'll kinda do like a little rotation here to give you an idea. We're actually at Jackson Park right now. <coughs> Excuse me. So behind me is a baseball field. If we go back around, I'm trying to a little slow here so it's not blurry. In the back here, you can see basketball courts. We got uh, some other baseball fields uh, back this way. You're not going to be able to see it too much, um, but there's uh, several like jung or jungle gym parks for kids to play in. Uh, there's even a handicap, handicap accessible one, which is nice. There's more baseball fields. There's a pond back there. Uh, there's a giant walking track, which is really cool. You see a lot of people walking. You might see people walking through the video kind of far behind me, but <clears throat> really cool park to go to in general. But I'm gonna tell you some of the reasons why I like Jackson. Now I'm gonna let you know, it's actually kind of raining here uh, and the sun's in my eyes, so that's why I have the sunglasses on instead of squinting and trying to see everything. Um, but I'm gonna stick out the rain unless it absolutely pours down. Um, but a couple things I like about Jackson. First one, love the community. Everybody is a very close-knit community. Everybody seems to be really cool with everybody. Everybody gets along well. You know, when it comes to like the sports community, whether you got baseball or football, it, it's kind of like everybody knows everybody. <clears throat> so, you know, if you want to have that close group feeling and close, you know, to where, you know, if your kids join a baseball team, kind of expect that there's a good chance you're going to become friends with the parents. So you're going to end up going over to their houses and, you know, getting to know them as closer friends, not just baseball parents, or whether it's football or track or anything you can imagine. It's just a very close knit community. Love that about it. Uh, the next thing is the schools. <clears throat> now, According to my licensing law, I can't really tell you about the schools themselves and give you ratings. However, if you look at independent ratings, you know, go to independent websites. This is not my opinion. I can tell you part of my opinion. <coughs> Sorry, it's allergies out here. But I can tell you a part of my opinion. But the schools are rated really well uh, when it comes to academics. They do very awesome with that stuff and that's on the state website uh, in addition to that they have a great sports program so if your kids are all about sports there's a lot of great things you could do with sports um, for example Jackson High School has a phenomenal baseball team um, they've won several state championships so excellent program there Jackson football has been very reputable over the years and even a lot of the recreation leagues in the area not just at like the high school or middle school level but even the recreation leagues have been very very successful and there are fantastic people that run them but if you're looking for a school district that has great academics and a great sports program look no further in addition to that the past year we decided to do a lot of homeschooling um just because 
you know, health concerns, things like that. Um, with my son, he, you know, is a little bit concerned. We have to be worried about um, sometimes. So we decided to stay home. The online program we did for the schools was absolutely phenomenal. So I really couldn't say they did any better. They were very well prepared for everything that was to come and the transition was as smooth as possible. <clears throat> now, if you're looking at living here, here's what you're looking at. I did a previous video to where the average Jackson house is roughly about $200,000 on average. Now that's gonna fluctuate a lot. <clears throat> because Jackson actually is comprised of many different areas. So technically there's people that live in North Canton that goes to Jackson schools. Um, you can live right in Jackson Township. You can also live in Maslin and go to Jackson schools. And technically there's even parts of Canton that you can live in that you go to Jackson schools. Now that's, those are very small parts, so you probably won't experience that very often, but no big deal. Um, it's, it's a wide range you can work with, but they're all considered part of the Jackson community. <clears throat> now. You have houses to where, you know, I deal with houses where I've seen them as low as $130,000 if you're looking for a very small house that is kind of be more of like a fixer upper. It's not going to be like exactly what you want. Or I just closed on a client, for example, that bought a gorgeous home in an up and coming community called Emerald Estates. Uh, they just bought a house for $365,000. It's 2,500 square feet, finished basement, uh, three to four bedrooms in those areas and really great finishes and a great community. Uh, that particular community in Emerald States actually has a community pool, which is really nice, a community clubhouse and community tennis courts. So. <clears throat> Although the average is about 200,000, you can see how you can go from much lower to much higher. And then there's even communities like, I, I uh, live right by a community that actually homes start roughly in around the seven to 800,000 range. Uh, and then another community, they average around 500,000. So it really depends on where you live at in the area, but no matter what it is, like, in current, like not income wise, but housing level wise, it's a great area to live in either way. <clears throat> and people seem to really love it. We love being around in the area and enjoy everything about it. Now, when it comes to shopping, there's an abundance of places to go. So within five to 10 minutes, um, you're gonna have Walmart, you have Best Buy, you're gonna have Target, you're gonna have Belden Village Mall that you can go to. Um, there's Giant Eagle Grocery Store, Bueller's Grocery Store. Oh my goodness, you have Mark's Grocery Store, Aldi's, Acme, I mean, everywhere within five to 10 minutes, you're gonna get access to anything you can imagine when it comes to grocery shopping. Um, it just comes regular shopping. I just named a bunch of stores. You got the mall, you got your Lowe's, your Home Depot's. Um, anything you can imagine is in this area. And in fact, Jackson is only roughly 10 minutes away from what's called the Belden Village area. It's Belden Village Mall, which I just mentioned. Um, the Belden Village area is extremely busy. So if you're going to go there during lunchtime in the middle of the week, good luck. I'll be honest with you. You'll sit at a traffic light for six different times before you, you get through it sometimes. It could be kind of crazy. But... <clears throat> Great place to go for the area if you need any shopping. If you want to stay away from that Belden Village area and just be able to do anything else in the area, you can go to Giant Eagle, uh, you know, and things like that, which is the main grocery store here, uh, or one of the main ones, sorry. Many different places you can go to shop. Um, and then when it comes to food-wise, there's not much that you won't find. So whether you're looking for great steak places in the area, um, whether you want to just find fast food, which Unfortunately, there's a lot more fast food options than I even imagine. Um, if you want to do like Blaze Pizza, fantastic. Make your own pizza from scratch. Uh, you got like Chipotle. Uh, they have a great deep dish um, pizza place that came in a couple years ago called Giordano's. If you want to change it up a little bit, it has like some Chicago style pizza. Um, if you're a big pizza fan, there's tons of different pizza places all over the place. And not just like your big chains, like a Domino's or like a Hungry Howie's and things like that. There's a lot of mom and pop places that you can go to. Uh, one of my favorites is, you'll probably hear about it from more than one person, it's called Krause's Pizza. The only downside to them is they don't deliver. So, bummer, but at the end of the day, they're some of the best pizza around, and I absolutely love them. So, in essence, uh, you know, the other thing you can do is when it comes to activities. So obviously you got the park here, you got the walking track. Um, there's always some sort of festival going on. Jackson likes to do a lot of things to bring the community together. Uh, whether there's arts and crafts festivals, there's 4th of July festivals, they have carnivals, uh, things like that. There's always stuff going on. Actually, uh, behind me, you probably can't see it really well, um, but behind me, 
the Stark County Library is right here too, right actually inside the park, which makes it really cool. And behind me also, there is an amphitheater they just built uh, probably less than a year ago to where they have concerts going on all the time. So essentially it's just a community to bring everybody together to just have fun and just kind of enjoy our lives, trying to get ready, trying to get away from all the hecticness of your work and trying to do everything you got to do throughout the day and just kind of enjoying your time together. So great community for that. Um, other things that you can do is there are several parks close by. So if you're a fitness person um, or just want to get outdoors, there's plenty of places to go have a picnic. Um, there's plenty of walking trails you can do, plenty of places to take the kids. <clears throat> Um, just down the road here, I would say about 15 minutes from here, is called Canal Fulton, which actually, uh, Canal Fulton also uh, is part of uh, Jackson Local Schools. Uh, Canal Fulton actually has some uh, towpaths that you can go down to. It's like walking trails that go for tens of miles. It, it's ridiculous. Actually, I'll tell you a story. One time my wife and I <clears throat> didn't pay much attention, and where our plan was is while well, our kids were in school for the day, we were going to go on the towpath. And, you know, we had a day to spend together, and we decided we were going to walk a distance. So. We decided we're, you know, we're going to walk about five, six miles or so, and then we'll stop and grab some lunch, and then we'll walk back. Well, we kept going and going and never saw anything off the towpath where we could eat. And then all of a sudden I said, you know, let's see where everything's at. Let's see where we're going exactly. So we get out our phone and I look. The first restaurant is 10 miles further than we had already walked, which was almost five miles. So needless to say, we were kind of like not really sure what to do. So then we started looking around and realizing we actually had to turn around and walk back so our five mile walk essentially turned into like almost like an 11 mile walk when it came down to it but we learned our lesson to kind of plan ahead of time and next time we're actually going to take uh bikes with us because we actually have bikes we like to go biking and have some fun with those um but also in canal fulton they have uh what's called the canoe library where you can actually take canoes down the river you can take bikes down the river i'm sorry not bikes but you take bikes down the path um, you kayak down the river. They actually have it to where you can canoe or kayak, kayak down the river. They'll pick you up to drop off your uh, water uh, devices, whether it's the kayak or canoe, and then you can rent a bike or bring your own bike, and then you can bike back, which is actually a lot of fun. We've done that several times, and we love actually being on the river. It's nothing like white rapids or anything like that. <clears throat> it's pretty calm, but you'll have to put a little bit of work in to get going. So as you can see, there's lots of fun stuff to do here. Um, if anybody else knows of anything, feel free to throw in the comments that comes to your mind. Yeah, I try not to make these videos insanely long. I mean, you don't, again, you're not going to watch a 45 minute video about everything. Thing, but I just want to give you an idea of what is really available to do in the area. Um, you know, where to eat, where to have fun, where to live, things along those lines. And hopefully this video summed that up for you really well. And hopefully I was able to kind of educate you a little bit more about the Jackson area than what you were before. But with all that said, appreciate you taking the time to get to the end of this video. Uh, everything is summed up pretty good hopefully for you uh, at the end of the day again if there's anything you need for real estate needs if you need to buy sell invest anything you want to do feel free to reach out to me call me text message me email me whatever works for you I am open to doing anything you need and helping you out any way I can um, I'm pretty available for my clients if you would ever ask any clients I have I am very accessible for them so you will never have a problem getting a hold of me I'm not one of those ones that you call me and I respond back 24 hours later if I don't respond back within the hour I get frustrated with myself because I expect you know my clients to expect excellence out of me um, so again you'll never have a hard time getting a hold of me unless I'm truly unaccessible at that particular time which is not too often um, but <clears throat> With all this said, I hope this really educated you guys. I really do. I hope this helped you out explain how the Jackson area, you know, could benefit you and what great things about the Jackson area, you know, you can enjoy. And uh, with that, I'm going to get out of here and I will see you guys on the next video.